students let us continue with the topic files so let us see what are the high level io functions that are present in the files so the high level io functions are f printf f scanf so these f printf and f scanf are used to write and read the files and next coming to put c or f put c so both are the same so these put c or f put c or use it to write a character c means here a character so write a character into the file write a character into the file next is get c or f get c this is used to read a character from file from file we want to read a character so for that you have to write get c or f get c next get w get w means read number from file w is used to for uh, reading the integers get w means read number from file and put w means write number into file okay next coming to f put s put s so s is indicates nothing but we have to do the operations on strings so what f put s function will do it writes to write a string to write a string into file okay so next f get s get means reading to read a string from file so from file you have to read a character string that you have to use the function f get s next f read f read function is used to to read an extra record if you want to read an extra record from file you have to use f read to read an extra record from a file so in the same way f write to write an extra record sorry not extra i'm sorry it is a, a uh, entire i'm very sorry this is entire so f read means we want to read the character not extra it is the entire record to read an entire record from a file not only the small part i want to read the complete entire record from a file i i'll use f read there is f write to write an entire the complete record into a file okay so this is about different high level io functions f printf f scanf put c get c and get w put w for integers numbers put s get s for strings f read and f write for uh, writing the entire record from a file uh, into the file and reading an entire record from the file okay these are the different io functions now let us see a simple program by using these functions io functions let me write one program so here in the program the program for storing storing the details of an employee so here i want to write program for storing uh, program for storing the details of an employee in a file and print the same so whatever i want to store the details of an employee in, into employee into a file and at the same time i want to print the uh, employee details also so for that i am writing the program first the main 
first you have to declare the file pointer pointer fp int employee number character employee name so the employee name should be a characters up to 30 i can enter the characters and float salary so i am going to enter the details of an employee for uh, employee number employee name and the salary now i want to open the file first i want to store for storing means you have to write the details into the file so you have to open the file in write mode f open employee text the name of the text uh, file that i am creating is employee text now i want to write write mode so i open the file in write mode now i am supposed to enter the values in a file employee dot text so for that first i am writing printf for enter the details of employee number employee name salary okay now i i am writing the scan of for reading and storing the values for reading percentile d is the integer s is a character string f is a float value ampersand e number means in the particular location it stores that value whatever we read uh, e name because we are using declare it as a character so no need to write the ampersand symbol so it takes the starting index ampersand salary so now i opened the file in write mode and i created a values uh, now i didn't enter so just i read the values from the keyboard after that i have to print that i have to store that for storing you have to write f printf f printf means write data into file what function it does it write data into it write data into files f printf f point of that is a uh, you have to open uh, you have to uh, that file pointer whatever that is opened so in that employee dot text you have to write the values further this is the syntax f printf fp comma t percentages percentage f employee number employee name and salary okay i have written that i have written the data into the file whatever i entered from the keyboard that will be stored in here now i want to close once whatever the mode you have to you have open already that has to be closed after that you have again open in another mode f close file pointer so that is closed but what is the program i'm asking here storing the details of an employee so i have stored the details and also i want to print the same the file that I, I want to print. So now I want to read the file whatever I stored. So again open the file. fp is equal to f open. This time I open the file in read mode. So in write mode I already enter the values and close the file. Now I want to open the file for reading. Okay. So for reading I have to do the f scanner. f scanf so what is the use of this f scanf it is used to read data from file f scanf file pointer percentile d percentile s percentile f and percent employee number e name and and percent salary okay i have written read the data and now i want to print the data whatever i read printf employee number is equal to percentage d employee number so whatever i have read the data from the employee dot text emp dot text that is i'm going to be print on the screen that is a program i have asked that is a problem I have to be solved. Employee name is equal to percentile s. E name. Printf. 
employee salary is equal to percentage F salary. Now close the file pointer. So this is a program. So in this program, I just entered the values of, I created a file emp.txt and enter the values means in a write mode. Uh, I entered the values of employee number, employee name and the salary. After that, I closed the file. Again, I opened the same file for reading purpose. So after reading, I want to display whatever uh, that is there in the text. So for that, I have written the printf. So employee number, employee name, salary. Thank you.